Hi everybody, how are you? It's Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady, here with you for your weekly angel reading. And uh, let me know that you're here. Um, I don't know whether my light's looking a bit bright or not. Let's see if that's a bit better. Uh, let me know you're here. Please give me a heart and like and share the stream. That would be really, really cool because there will be lots of interesting things here for us all to be aware of tonight, I am sure, in the reading. Um, can't see any comments yet, so um, just let me know if you're here. There's a few people here. Hi, Helen, how are you? Good to have you here. So we will call... Hi, Andrea, how are you? Call in our beautiful angels for a reading for this week, Monday the 4th of March through to Sunday the 10th of March. A couple of things about this week. We have Mercury going retrograde on the 5th, um, so that's tomorrow. So don't make any big purchases or anything like that um, from tomorrow. It's 5th to the 28th of March, Mercury's retrograde. No big purchases, there'll be technical issues, um, computer, just make sure your emails go through, make sure your text messages go through, don't start a business, don't get married, don't buy anything that you can't afford to lose out on pretty much as the theme for Mercury Retrograde. Hey Pauline and Avril, how are you? So we will start the reading by using the Angel Feather Oracle. We're going to draw five cards and then on top of that we will draw Archangel Michael cards to get the male energy on the read. So here we go. My chair's squeaking tonight, I don't know why. Here we go. We're we'll calling our angels. Thank you so much, Joe. Appreciate you sharing. Oh, fruit tingles. They've got, hang on, hold the bus. That one flew out. Hi, Janice. Good morning to you. It's evening here in Australia, 7 p.m. Okay, there we go. The cards have clumped. We're going to choose five. Lovely. Very, very nice. Now we're going to use Archangel Michael cards to go on top. Sword and Shield Oracle. Asking for a clear and accurate reading for this week. There we go, they've clumped. Okay, interesting, interesting reading. The uh, heart of the matter this week is that we've got luck on our side, so that's really good. So it's expect good luck. Fantastic card, one of the best cards in the deck. Very spiritual, colour turquoise, and you've got angels around you. The angels excitedly ask that you... Uh, Ready yourself as good fortune is on its way. Be grateful and thankful and expect only the best. So that is really, really beautiful card for the heart of the matter. Especially if you get to the end of your tether, okay? So just know that there is luck here for you this week. Especially if you get a little bit frustrated. Just remember me saying that. This is Michael saying, end of tether, hand it over. Archangel Michael is present and feels your overwhelming frustration. It's time to completely uh, hand over and surrender the situation for transmutation. So if you're feeling frustrated at all at times during this week, please hand it over to Michael and let him uh, take care of it because there is luck here and it will take out any challenges. So that's very good news. Now, the area of challenge we will look at is chosen path found which is the royal blue angel feather now this is about you being in challenge on finding things on um, finding the right path so the angels are saying with this card that they're applauding you uh, and you're right on track but however this is sitting in the area of challenge so you may be actually feeling frustrated you're not sure if it's the right thing to do or the right way to go or you don't know what to do or you feel like you're in limbo and pause you need to ground yourself that's the answer to the challenging situations or that anything that comes up this week so grounding yourself um, be here be now and be long so don't be in the future don't be in the past be here right now Archangel Michael highlights the importance of grounding so that you can be truly present in the here and the now. So when you're in the here and the now, that's when you'll find your way forward, okay? If you're out in the future or back in the past, you are not going to be able to navigate the energies of this week, especially with Mercury going retrograde. Brings up stuff from the past. You'll go over stuff from the past, you know, all that sort of stuff as well. The area of the unknown is Raphael's around you this week, and that is the uh, emerald green angel feather, which is restored health and healing. So this is a great card for us. The healing angels have heard your prayers for improved health. They send healing rays of uh, healing 
rays of green light that will assist you or a loved one uh, to heal physical and mental conditions. So if you're frustrated about areas of health or, you know, or it could be your money too because the green's often about your money, just let it go, okay? Give it to Michael and because there's luck here. So just, just come. And then it, it's saying here that your health or your money is protected because Michael is saying mystery dressed in black. The black's always about being protected in a very protective colour. So Michael is president asks that you call on the protective colour of black as a means to shield yourself. So make sure you do that. Um, you can wear black. I usually like to use gold for protection with Michael, but wearing black or a black crystal would be a really great thing to do this week. So some black obsidian, some black tourmaline, something like that would be really, or black onyx, that would be really great. The turning point for you this week is the lilac angel feather, which is uh, activate the angelic chakra. This card always means there's so many angels around you, so many. So you've got Archangel Raphael that's coming here, always got Michael here working with us, but Raphael's coming to work with Michael. And then you've got a band of angels as well. So this is the angels would like to assist you with activating your fifth die chakra, known as the angelic chakra. When you can do that, you can actually really call in a lot more angels and you can also really follow your guidance. The angels want to speak to you this week. This is a turning point. So when you tune in, meditate, um, really tune into your soul this week, you're going to get the answers that, that you're looking for. So this is Speak Up, Pearls of Wisdom. Archangel Michael asks that you speak up. Your point of views need to be heard. But it's sitting on this angel card here, so you really need to talk up to your angels, and the angels want to talk to you. Okay, that's a turning point for you this week. The outcome is amazing. So even though we might feel a little bit frustrated, a little bit um, in pause mode or, you know, you're just not quite sure this week, don't panic too much because the special blessing, best card in the deck comes in and the outcome. So that's really, really good news with ex immense excitement. The angels announced that you are to receive a special blessing. Angelic joy will radiate to you through this blessing. So this is excellent news. And Michael says... As I just said before in the reading, when I was talking about the color black, physical body protection, gold and mesh, and got golden shields. So this is Archangel Michael suggesting the golden mesh protection technique, which I talk about in my Archangel Michael webinar. It brings you security, harmony, and harmony to your energy field. So this is good news. This is very good news. The color gold as well is always very abundant and it's great color to use in manifesting. So there's good news here. There could be a few frustrations at times, but you know, if you just hand it over to Michael, call your angels in, be very present in the here and now. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't be thinking about tomorrow. Think about today. Don't think about yesterday. Think about today. Keep yourself here in the moment this week is the key to really bringing luck in to connecting very much with your angels and listening to what they've got to say because they're going to bring you some sort of a blessing coming through it can be on your money or your health because Raphael is around this week so does that make sense everybody beautiful reading for us thank you very very much for being here Michelle Newton the Aussie angel lady here with you tonight for your weekly angel reading I will be giving away an angel scope at the end of this call so please do not go anywhere because um, you will miss out and I'll please like and share this stream um, because that message could be very very important for somebody that you know what a beautiful message your beautiful necklace is sparkling bright like a diamond oh, I cleaned it this week absolutely beautiful message thank you angel says Amanda thank you Amanda that is lovely we've got 44 people on the live call the angels number of course how awesome is that Janice says thank you Natalie says thank you that is awesome Caitlin says focus oh we need to um Mahalo for this reading you are so beautiful oh that's so nice Roxanne it makes sense says Pauline that is great I don't know why people are writing focus in there. The key, maybe the, I could have copied that wrong. I'm sorry, the keyword's not focus. I haven't even told you that, and I think it might be in the description, so I apologize. The keyword is heaven. Franz, can you fix that for me quickly? Um, that will be my fault because I copied the text. Um, the keyword tonight is the word heaven. Please write the word heaven in the comments. That will trigger our bot, Gabby to send you another card. Yes, beautiful card, thanks Shazza. Um, 
You, thank you, Roxanne. Oh, that's my fault. Never mind. That's okay. These things happen. Thank you, Lisa. Yes, 444. Four, four, beautiful numbers. Excellent. If you haven't got my numbers app, the, the link's in the description. You get seven days for free using my numbers app. Awesome. It probably did, Caitlin. I copied it. You know how you copy and paste? That was my fault. In a hurry. Um, so I didn't change the keyword out. So I beg your pardon. The keyword is heaven. Heaven. Okay, but maybe we do need to focus, Caitlin. That's true. We have to be in the here and now. Oh, Kate's birthday on uh, Tuesday the 12th. That is awesome. <laughs> Great. Thank you, girls. Uh, very good. If you're not in my closed group, can, um, Manifesting Prosperity and Abundance for Spiritual Women, tonight is the night to join it because we're going into a challenge tomorrow. And I'm going live on that page straight after here. So I'm going to tell you all about that. So that's very excitement. Uh, yes, so let me know if you'd like an angel scope, please. Hi, Sarah, how are you? And Amanda, lovely to have you here. Uh, Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady, here with you tonight for your weekly angel reading. Um, I've also got a beautiful offer for you for this fortnight. The last one's finished. Uh, my gorgeous Angel Feather Oracle uh, companion book is amazing. It look, You know me, I love sparkly things. And... Um, it's got gold edge. Can you see the gold edge? It's absolutely beautiful. It's got gold ribbon. I was telling people about it this morning on the live. And it's got extended meanings for every single one of the coloured feathers. So that is really beautiful. So, you know, you can open up and it's got extended meanings that aren't in the little guidebook in the box. So there's the other symbols. There's the um, crystals that you can work with and the angels associated with every feather. So And affirmations, of course. So that is really beautiful. And absolutely, Amanda, who doesn't like sparkle? We're all magpies. Well, most of us, some of us don't, but I do. And at the back, it, I'm a real teacher, so I like to teach you things. And I like to do books that people can look up every day when they find their signs and things. So um, essential oils by color, beautiful. Um, chakra color balance. Uh, crystals for chakra balancing. Color meanings. I love color therapy. Beautiful. Oh, yes, Donna, you did. I'm getting that in the mail for you tomorrow. Um, list of angels to call on for specific things. Like if you want an electrician, don't call the plumber. You could get it done. It mightn't be that great. Um, so these are, you know, it's you can call any angel, but if you know the right one to call, why not? It, it gets it done quicker and, you know, probably better. So this is great. So this is a beautiful book. It's a great book to have beside your bed when you can't be bothered with cards. And I did this book for my mum. Because she wasn't, you know, thinking the cards were that great because she's an old Catholic. But now she's fine with them. But years ago she wasn't. But I did that specifically for her. And it's a beautiful book. I absolutely love it. I still love it to this day. So who's ready to win an angel scope? Is anyone uh, wanting to win? I've always been called a magpie. Yes, yes, I'm a magpie too. And so is my staff member, Donna. She likes sparkly things too. Yes, Joe, you can get it. Oh, the old... Oh, the coupon code for this beautiful book. God, I didn't even give it to you. Crikey, I need to get with it. It's book 30. Um, yes, Kate, book 30. Put it into the shopping cart. Um, and you, there's a little box. You put book 30. There's a, the link in the description. Go there. Put book 30. Apply. Click apply and it'll take the discount off the book. 30% off. Awesome. We love to give you gifts, uh, which is really great. So, yes, we've got a few people saying they'd love to win an angel scope. Well, that's fantastic. Now, what are your angel scopes? They are brilliant. They are only about $9. Um, fabulous. And what it tells you is all about your star sign, your qualities, your, your, um, your crystal, your flower, your lucky day, your lucky number, your angel that's with you, um, the best relationships to be in, the worst you know, star sign relationships to be in, your music, um, you know, all that type of stuff. It's really good. But then also I have channeled a message, an angel message. <laughs> You'll have to get in quick then, Stephen. Um, please, uh, what am I talking about? I've got lost my focus. About the angel scopes. Oh, yes, I've channeled a message for every month of the year, uh, for 2019, for every single star sign. So that's awesome. Radio. So what I'm going to do today, it's not a person. That's interesting, isn't it? Normally I give you a person, one of my, someone, a star or a family member or whatever. But tonight, to win the angel scope, you have to get it right though. So it's first in best dressed and it's whoever the angels guide me to see. So we can't be um, all, all um, rigging it for Stephen. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, is tell me, 
what the star sign is for the AOK -OK Healing Center's birthday. Off you go. Hello, Catherine. So let me know. The first person I see that has it correct will be the winner of the Angel Scope. You must email me tonight, aokangels at gmail.com, if you're the winner. And I do love a one-line um, testimonial in return energy exchange by the just return to the email after I send it to you. The AOK Healing Centre is not a Capricorn. It is not a Taurus. It's not a Virgo. Thank you, Mary, for putting heaven. Lovely to see you here. It's not an Aries. It's not a Cancer. It's not a Pisces, Marie. No, it's not an Aries, Natalie. Um, I'm not sure what that means, Sarah. It's not a Cancer. No, it's not an Aquarius. It's a Gemini, Desiree. Have you won before? You might have, or you might have already bought one, but if you have, it doesn't matter. I'm looking for a piece of paper. Hold the bus, come back, cancel. Oops, sorry.